Hi, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be reviewing, trying for the first time, the brand new Huda Beauty Foundation. Well, this is not so brand new. This is a new formula for the OG foundation the Huda Beauty had before. I did a little switch in colors. I picked this time Custer 220N. So let's see if this color matched me a little better. The other one was a little too yellow for me so i'm picking up a neutral shade let's see how that goes the packaging is exactly the same color i don't see any differences like none difference the only thing that you will have to do basically is read here in the bottom if you had the same colors um this one says hashtag fox filter luminosity matte so you know the luminosity matte will be the new foundation. This is not an 100% new foundation. This is a reformulation. This basically it is more luminous than the previous one. The previous one was 100% was matte. This is luminous. I'm curious to see a matte luminous foundation. This is basically the foundation that every combo and oily skin wants. Like something that is matte, full cover, but it's not dry dry like super flat and it has luminosity on it okay i don't know this is this is let's see how this looks like because i'm like is luminous or is mad which one it is <laughs> i'm reading here from huda beauty uh website and it says that it's fragrance free finally huda beauty is moving away from the fragrance everything was very fragrance for her brand now she's coming out with less fragrance no fragrance at all which is awesome and less launches she's launching her products with a little more space between them not so overwhelming as she was doing before so i love her rebranding like no fragrance let's just slow down make better products i love that this claims to be waterproof 24 hours wear and mask proof like you can wear your mask and this one is not gonna disappear from your face or be 100% in your mask. This is a no comedogenic, so I am super excited to see that because obviously we don't want to break up, so amazing. I always use my Hourglass Veil Primer for my impressions, so this is not gonna be any different. I'm gonna be using this primer. And as always, half of my face is gonna be with a brush. This is the Huda Beauty Face Buff and Blend, and the other half is gonna be with a beauty blender. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, there we go. That's the color right there. It looks very promising for me. It looks very, very full cover. I'm like, ooh. And you see, it says it's neutral, but it still has a little bit of yellow thing on it. Like, Huda Beauty is a little hard to find your shade. I don't appreciate that at all. And I heard that if you have any other color on her foundations, don't go for that because her chase changed between foundations and that is no good. Even with the new formula and the older formula. So oof. this foundation feels very, very thick. So I have an impression that we have to work with it very, very, very fast. It dries super, super fast. And like, I think this is gonna be better applying it with a beauty blender, will you see? I see it is very hard to buff. Like, ugh, I'm dragging my skin and I am not loving that feeling. Like, it's staying in one place. I didn't put my primer. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't put my primer. I forgot my primer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, mm, this is not going to be good. Okay, I'm going to wash my face. I don't know what happened. I got like distracted, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I wanna use it, I wanna use it now. I'm not gonna bore you with that part. I didn't like how the brush was doing and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it with my beauty blender. I didn't like the brush at all. Like it was very patchy, it was dragging, it was hard to apply. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump with my beauty blender. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do two pumps and I hope that's enough for my entire face. To be fair, let's start with this side. Yeah, I was right. The Beauty Blender blends so much better. I think it needs a little bit of humidity to blend better on the skin. The brush was too stiff and it was 
I was dragging my skin a lot. So I'm definitely just gonna go ahead and apply with a beauty blender. Um, you, when you get your foundation, you can try both and see which one you like better. But so far, I think the beauty blender is the answer for me. I definitely like the coverage. Like you can have a medium or a very full cover from foundation day if you want to. I can see that already. I think it looks so, so nice. Like, oh my God, guys, I really like this formula. It's super, super nice to apply, easy to apply. It dries very, very fast. So if you apply it, don't put it in your entire face and then blend, start, put it where you're going to blend. Put it in this area, blend, put it in this area, blend, and so on and so on. It dries super fast, so you have to move fast. And that's exactly why I think I didn't like the brush. I'd rather the sponge because the sponge has this wetness to it, so it's easier to move products around to your face. I believe the foundation is a medium to full cover foundation. I use one pump in my entire face, and this is the coverage that I got. This is a medium coverage right now. So I definitely think if you want a full, full cover foundation, you can achieve that with this foundation. You will need to use a little bit more product, maybe a pump and a half or two. I definitely like how it looks like in a medium ram of situation. I love it. It covers my blemishes very nice. They are not completely disappearing. They are right there, but they are very, very nice and cover and camouflage it. So I really like the medium cover for this foundation. I impressed with the formula. It is kind of like weird. It doesn't feel heavy in the skin, but it, you can see the shift of the luminosity like you can see it and it's so weird because this is a matte foundation matte foundation with luminosity i wasn't expecting that to actually work but it does work it gives you that luminosity on the skin it looks so so cool it feels light it feels nice i don't think if you had dry skin you're gonna like this like maybe normal combo oily skins are gonna be okay with this formula but I don't think this is a formula for dry skin and I don't see them claiming to be for dry skin. But again, matte formulas normally are for combo skin and oily skins. Maybe if you're normal, you can pull it off too. But some of them say they are okay. Some of them they don't say anything, but this one doesn't say anything. And I don't think it's good for dry skin. They're just letting you try and see if you like it, basically. But I don't think it is good for dry skin. So far, I like it. I feel very nice on it. I haven't said it. Everything is basically set by itself. I haven't done anything else besides just applying it. So I think it, it, it says by itself. It's a little tacky, but not too much. I think when I put the powder, it's gonna be just fine. All right, so I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'm gonna come back to show you how it looks like. And then I'm gonna show you during the day how my foundation and my makeup looks like.
All right, so this is how this makeup look came out to be like. I love this look. I've been rocking this look for the entire month. I had done this like maybe three or four times already this month, and I love it. It's so earthy, it's so glam, so natural. Like, it couldn't be better. I really like it. Down there in the description box, I'm gonna leave you all the products that I use for this makeup look. I love all the products. The only one that is new for me is basically the foundation, but everything else, I love them. So down there in the description, I'm gonna leave you all the information of those products. As I said before, this foundation basically set in self, but I still apply a little bit of pressed powder in top just to make sure that everything will be okay for the next products. The bronzer, the blush, the highlighter, everything apply perfectly fine in top of it. Even the concealer, apply very, very good on it. I don't see any creasing, anything emphasizing anywhere. Everything looks pretty much good though. I'm actually very, very pleased and impressed with this foundation right now. Everything looks amazing. I love it so far. All right, so let's see how this foundation holds during the day. I have combination skin, so that means my skin is very oily here and it's dry on the side. So let's see how that looks like on my dry sides and on my oily sides in the middle of the day and at the end of the day. And then we'll decide what we'll think about this foundation. But so far, guys, I like it. So let's see how it looks at the end of the day at the middle of the day. So I will see you in a few hours. All right, people, it's been six hours since I applied this foundation and it looks so, so nice. Besides the, obviously, the oils that already came out. So this won't control you oils whatsoever. Um, I was expecting the oils to be a little more controllable because this foundation tends to be better for oily and combination skins, in my opinion, because they're matte. But this one doesn't control anything. And uh, whatever wants to come out of your skin, it will pass through the foundation very easily. My normal skin type, my more dry areas are these ones right here and they look amazing. So if you have normal skin, this is gonna look so flawless on you by the mark of six hours. And if you are oily skin or combination skin like mine, you will definitely maybe should be start thinking about having a touch up before this foundation just starts separating even more. Right now it's separating a little bit on my nose area and my upper lip area. Besides that, everything else looks very, very nice. Actually, my husband today said that my makeup look nice and that doesn't happen often. So if he likes how this looks like, that says, ooh, a lot. So I'm very pleased how, how this foundation is holding today. I like how everything is looking like. My makeup looks pretty much good. It's just a little bit shiny in the center. So if I was just normally wearing my foundation for maybe work or an event or whatever it is, by this time I will be touching up. But since we are doing a wear test, I'm not doing anything to the face. Let's see how it looks at the end of the day. All right, it's been officially 12 hours since I applied this foundation and let me tell you, I don't remember when was the last time that I looked this oily. Terrible, it's super, super, super oily. This foundation, when it's recently applied, it looks so flawless and beautiful that I have super, super high hope for it. But mm -mm. I think if you wanna rock this foundation, you definitely have to touch it up. It's impossible to go the whole day without touching up. Look at this. My makeup here is completely cakey, horrible, like, horrendous. I never have seen my makeup being so ugly in my lip area, like here, this area right here, never before. Like it is so bad. I don't know, it's something about this foundation is making my skin producing even more oils than it will normally produce. If I don't wear any foundation, my skin won't look like this oily at the end of the day. So this foundation is making my skin produce more oils. But if I wanna wear this foundation for four hours, I'm definitely going to wear it. Like if it looks beautiful on camera and pictures, you look flawless like a, like a perfect doll. But for wearing it for too long and not be able to touch up, Forget about it. You need to touch out this foundation if you have combo or oily skin. If you have normal skin, you're definitely gonna love it. This foundation looks amazing on my cheek area. It looks beautiful, but anywhere else, no. And I still don't recommend it for dry skin because I still see that it's trying to gravitate, kind of like to add to those areas. And also people with dry skin tend to not like matte foundations. I noticed this foundation be a little, little, little bit more luminous than the previous one. So if you like the previous one, you will definitely love this one. One thing that you have to make sure is that you pick the foundation color 
different from the one that you already have from the previous foundation because it's not the same. So if you are 320 or 220 or whatever color you are, make sure to pick a color that is that will match you because that same number is not the same color anymore. So those are my thoughts on this foundation. If you want to wear this foundation for three, four hours, go ahead and do it. If you want to wear it for a long time, you have to make sure to touch it up at the mark of six hours. Beyond that, your face might be way too greasy, way too beyond salvation. And if you have dry skin, just stay away from it. You are not gonna like it. If you have normal skin, like always, you are the queen. Everything looks amazing on you. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this video was informative and entertaining for you. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I love to make high and make a beauty videos and a little bit of fashion. So if it does your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also give a big thumbs up to this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.